The visitor beyond the stars, the interstellar wanderer has returned. Brighter. Clearer. More mesmerizing than ever before. Once again, the James Webb Space Telescope has turned its golden eye toward the unknown. And what it has seen has shaken the very foundation of science, of wonder, and of imagination itself. For the first time in human history, we have captured a sharp, detailed image of the mysterious Three Atlas, a silent traveler, drifting gracefully beyond the boundaries of our solar system. Three Atlas, only the third interstellar visitor ever discovered. First came, Aumuamua, a fleeting shard of mystery. Then 2i, Borisov, a frozen comet from the deep. And now, this. A new wanderer. A messenger from a forgotten sun. Unlike those fleeting ghosts, Webb has revealed this one in astonishing, almost lifelike clarity. This is no blur. No uncertain streak of lost data and shadow. This is a portrait, radiant, defined, and hauntingly beautiful. A window into a world that was never ours. For astronomers, it is not simply a discovery. It is a bridge between the stars. We are not merely watching a rock pass through space. We are witnessing the ancient memory of another sun. The image reveals an irregular glowing body its surface fractured, its crust sculpted by eons of collision and impact. It drifts through the dark wrapped in a faint, ghostly halo, a veil of reflected light that shimmers like a whisper from a dream older than time itself. Through Webb's infrared eyes, ridges, scars, and deep fractures come alive. Every mark tells a story, of violence, of frozen storms, and of the silent erosion of cosmic dust. Unlike the sleek, smooth form of Aumuamua, Three Atlas is rugged, defiant, a survivor of extremes, forged by both fire and ice. It is a relic from a time when worlds were still young. Spectral data reveals frozen carbon, silicates, and traces of organic molecules, the same building blocks that once formed planets, oceans, and perhaps even the first stirrings of life. This single image hints at something profound. That life, or at least its ingredients, may not be confined to any one world, to any one sun, but scattered endlessly across the galaxy. When that first image appeared, the control room fell silent. No one spoke. No one even breathed. Because in that moment, every scientist knew, they were looking at matter that did not belong to our sun. A relic from another star. A traveler from another system. Three Atlas had wandered the dark for millions of years, its path carved by gravity, its fate guided by chance. Until, finally, destiny placed it within Webb's golden gaze. Deep beneath its icy crust, a faint warmth lingers. It suggests this wanderer is not entirely dead. Perhaps it still breathes, slowly, quietly, its frozen heart stirred by radioactive decay, or by the ancient rhythm of rotation. This is no lifeless stone. It is a living relic, a quiet survivor, still whispering the memory of its home. The object was first spotted by the Atlas Survey in Hawaii, a network of telescopes built to detect asteroids that wander too close to Earth. When astronomers confirmed its hyperbolic orbit, they knew instantly, this was no ordinary visitor. It had come from beyond the sun's dominion. From the depths between the stars. Ground telescopes traced its path in brightness, but could see little more. So it became Webb's turn, to see beyond the blur, to reveal its soul. Far above Earth's atmosphere, Webb's mirrors cut through the blackness, through cold and distance, and uncovered the hidden chemistry of this ancient traveler. The results left researchers speechless. Its elements hinted at a birthplace around another kind of star, perhaps a cool, fading red dwarf long forgotten by time. Humanity now holds the image of a fragment from another solar system. A message carried across the Milky Way, 
written in light and dust and silence. Its reddish hue, caused by tholines, complex organics forged by radiation, matches those found on the comets in the far reaches of our own system. These are the molecules believed to be the first sparks of life. If they can survive the long dark between stars, then perhaps the universe itself is a garden, scattering the seeds of life from one world to another. Its uneven rotation reveals a fragile form, a cluster of rock and ice held together only by gravity and silence. Webb's sensors caught faint jets of vapor escaping from its sunlit side, proof that volatile ices still slumber within. That vapor forms a soft halo, a luminous shroud that clings to the wanderer like the memory of warmth. Each new observation forces us to rethink how worlds form, shatter, and drift through the void. When Webb's image of three atlas first reached Earth, the world of science stood still. It was not mere data, it was a message, a whisper across the darkness between suns. Astronomers had dreamed of seeing a fragment from another solar system so near, so clear, that it could be studied in detail. Now that dream glowed in golden light. Researchers stared, faces illuminated by the reflection of a world not their own. The more they studied it, the more impossible it seemed. 3 Atlas was not a mere comet. It was a survivor, forged around another star, born in alien creation. Its chemical signature spoke of a faraway home, a dim red dwarf long since faded into silence. The ratios of carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen revealed a chemistry unlike our own. Each element whispered of frozen storms and collisions that existed before Earth was even dust. Its surface, ancient and scarred, etched by radiation and time. Webb's instruments revealed streaks of dust fused by cosmic rays, clinging to its crust for millions of years. In false color, it glows with crimson and bronze, the fingerprints of tholines, organic molecules forged in the deep. The same compounds that may have sparked life on Earth. For astrobiologists, this was revelation. If such molecules survived the cold between stars, then life's ingredients are universal, carried across the galaxy by wanderers like this. Its motion through space is slow and graceful. It tumbles gently, a fragile dance revealing its hollow nature. It is not one solid world, but a gathering of fragments, held together by gravity, by ice, by memory. Even the weak light of our sun awakens its frozen heart. Each puff of vapor forms a shimmering halo that breathes faintly in the void. Scientists were astonished. No one expected an interstellar visitor to still be active, to still breathe in the dark. It means that deep within, a trace of warmth remains. A heartbeat left behind by a long-lost sun. That faint pulse turns three atlas from relic to witness, a living memory of cosmic history. If many such travelers exist, then every solar system casts fragments outward, tiny ambassadors of creation drifting through the galaxy. Over time, they mingle and seed other systems with dust, ice, and the chemistry of life. The galaxy itself becomes a vast ecosystem, a living network of stars sharing their essence. Three Atlas may once have been a piece of a planet, hurled into darkness by chaos long ago. Now it sails through eternity, carrying the memory of a lost home. Each photon captured by Webb crossed interstellar time to reach human eyes. That light, born under another sun, met a machine built by human hands. A meeting between nature and creation. Webb's triumph is not only scientific, it is human. It shows how far our vision has stretched from the first stargazers on Earth to a telescope watching a wanderer from another world. Even as three atlas drifts away, its image remains, a quiet symbol of connection. A reminder that exploration never ends. It only moves from one horizon to the next. Because in the vastness between the stars, every fragment carries a story. 
And through those stories, we begin to understand our own. We are made of the same dust that drifts between suns. We are part of the same endless journey. And somewhere, beneath another sky, someone, or something, may be looking back. Wondering about us, as we now wonder about three atlas.